Huddersfield, but still the temperatures around where they should be for the time of year. Tonight at 10, in a surprise move, the world's biggest economies, China and the US, agree a joint approach to climate change. They'll work together on key areas such as cutting methane, a powerful greenhouse gas, promoting clean energy, as well as emissions from industry and transport. The United States and China have no shortage of differences, but on climate, on climate, Cooperation is the only way to get this job done. Earlier in the day, Boris Johnson, the summit host, had appealed for a determined push to make progress in the closing days. We'll be asking what the China-US deal means for the overall outcome of the summit. Also tonight, Sir Geoffrey Cox, the Conservative MP, denies any wrongdoing by using his parliamentary office to do outside work as migrants in Belarus continue to suffer as they try to enter Poland, Russia is accused of manipulating the situation for its own ends. And a report on the wartime sinking of HMS Dasha and the families still looking for answers today. And coming up in the sport on the BBC News Channel, England are out of the Men's T20 World Cup after New Zealand won their semi-final by five wickets in Abu Dhabi. Good evening. Delegates at the climate summit in Glasgow were taken by surprise tonight when China and the US issued a joint statement agreeing to improve cooperation over the next decade. John Kerry, the US climate envoy, said that the US and China had no shortage of differences, but on climate, cooperation, he said, was the only way to get the job done. There were joint steps agreed on a range of issues, including methane emissions, the transition to clean energy and decarbonisation. The climate summit is now in its final few days. 